Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and in this quick video, we're going to be going over how to switch presets using the auto switcher inside of the pen tool. Now, just to start off, I know it's a little bit complicated how things switch and there's multiple programs. Uh, there's a couple reasons we do that. There's limitations of what we can and cannot control inside of a UWP, which is a Windows Store app. So there's reasons that we're in the store and there's reasons we can't do everything in the store. So I, I know that's a little bit challenging, but thank you for being patient with us and using uh, the Tablet Pro software. I'm absolutely in love with it and love what we're able to do. And I hope that you guys feel the same way. All right, so let's go through what is automatic switching. If you have the pen tool installed and you follow the install guide in the beginning, you may have this set up already, but how do you get it to do something different than what it does by default? All right, by default, here if I switch between programs, you can see it's switching the artist pad, that's this guy over here on the left, and switching that on its own to a couple different types of artist pad modes. All right, so let's say we want it to do something different. Let's go over here to Paint Tool Psi. And let's say we wanted to open up something new. So we're going to double click here on the Pen Tool icon. Uh, alternately, you can press Control Backslash. And here we have Psi. We'll select Psi 2 from the drop down. And we're going to choose Edit. We're going to select Tablet Pro. Connect with Tablet Pro is already selected, which is what we want. If we want it to not do anything when Psi runs, but we don't want to delete this profile, then just uncheck that box. Browse preset. I actually have a custom folder where I have all of my uh, new presets for Tablet Pro. So let's say we, we have everything, the same names, but in a different folder, we want to save it somewhere else and keep those files separate so they don't get diluted. So we don't accidentally corrupt those with uh, changes that we wish we didn't add in the beginning. Okay, if that ever happens, you can just reinstall Tablet Pro and you'll have those files again. All right, so let's see here. Okay, so we want to select our file. So we select our file from here, click Open, and then Update Preset. If you want to change any of these other things, you want uh, Tablet Pro to hide when a certain program is active, check this box right here. And if you want it to wait before it switches to another program. All right, so I think that's everything you need to know there. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go into the general settings. General settings here automatically switch presets based on active window. This is what we are checking when we're in the start guide. Right here, the Tablet Pro preset folder path. This is what I was talking about before. I have mine is a custom path right here. And this is going to, I'm going to select this folder, select that folder. And that is going to be my path for all of my presets. It's going to look there if I haven't set it to a specific path otherwise. All right, so how do we add a preset? There's a couple different ways to do that. If you have a um, program open, you can click on Add and use this drop down right here to select the file, select the exe file that you're wanting to pair that with. So again, let's choose sci2.exe, partial title to match. This would be if you're running something like OneNote. OneNote uses a uh, EXE that's shared by a number of different um, programs, Windows Store apps called Application Frame Host. So here you might have Application Frame Host to do, or OneNote, or Mail, or a number of different um, ones. And so you need to specify which one. Don't use this unless you have to. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to do Psi version two. And we're going to associate the file that we want to associate, check the boxes and the settings we want, add new preset, cancel. I don't cancel. <laughs> okay, uh, add new preset um, if that's what you want to do. Okay, so if you have a keyboard, you can press Alt Z. And that's going to create a new preset for you. And it's going to have the exe of the active window there. So here, Tablet Pro Pen Tool exe, and this is configuration Tablet Pro. We are going to remove that, delete, and set up our settings here, and then add new preset. All right, you guys, that's the basic way how to do that. The automated way. If you want to switch presets, you can right click right here, choose layout. There's the preset history here. And you can hit load preset right here. And that's going to give you the option 
of selecting just the standard way, uh, and you do, do this um, manually. So if you don't want to do it manually, use the pen tool. If you want to do it manually, it's very easy as well. All right, you guys, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for joining me in the Academy. And until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.